Harajuku, Harajuku. Come on now. Is she fine? Is she fine? Is she fine? We'll come alive. Harajuku, Harajuku. One, two, three, four. Now is the time. Super, super kawaii. Take a look and you will see. So cool and incredibly. Fashion is the coolest thing. Angel music, baby. And we do it perfectly. Put them on now. One, two, three. Now's time to join us. HJ5, please, come on, Lucky Three Leaf Clover, don't let me down. The winners are Morgan and Macy. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's their 157th award for the night. Don't sweat it, Rudy. It's almost impossible to win this thing unless your manager is Sammy Stars. <laughs> Oh, my main man, I thought you want to be first to congratulate yours truly on another win. Crazy, huh? Good times. Ooh, got a bounce. Acceptance speech to nail. Fist bump you late. And the award goes to Rudy Rhodes and HJ5. Who? What? When? Where? Wow, unbelievable. I never expected this in a zillion years. Lots of people to thank. <clears throat> I mean, of course, you don't win something like this alone, so I, Rudolph Rhodes, am honored to accept the bronze hoodie for most concert epic fails? Ah, humiliated much? Well, tough break, Road Bump. You're the worst celebrity manager ever! 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 ever. <laughs> tough day at the office, rude man. I just had the worst nap nightmare. You were there, and you were there, and you were there. And we won a horrible award. You mean this one? Ah, it actually happened! Sure, but that was a whole year ago. I'm sure we'll have an awesome time at tonight's show. Forget it. I can't face the humiliation and shame again. I'm staying home in my jammies. Aw, oh, come on, Rudy. So we may not win a big time award. Who cares? I kind of care. Um, no, awards don't matter. What matters is that we support each other. Sorry, just one more spot. Okay, okay, I'm coming, chill. Yes, a genie! What do you want? A teen genie! Will you hurry up with the wishes? I don't have all day. I know exactly what we want! To win a totally teen award tonight and make Rudy proud! <gasps> boom, boom. No wishing for showbiz awards. Also, no wishing for more wishes. I'm a genie, not a miracle worker. Okay, then let's just boost our chances. Team Genie, I wish for totally kawaii new outfits. Your wish is my like, whatever. <gasps> what the what? Team Genie, I said kawaii, not Hawaii. You must be mistaking me for some genie who cares. This suit is B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Whoa, so are these shoes. <gasps> I did not wish for that. Oh. Pretty sure I said Hawaii. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the still life prize goes to. Whoa! Oh, bravo! Bellissimo! Great. Now, this will be a prize Rudy will really be proud of. Okay, so for our next wish, we need to think bigger. No, we need to think about whether we should do this at all. She does have a point. Historically, these scenarios tend to backfire and go horribly wrong. Not this one. We wish we had the catchiest song on the charts. Oh, what do I look like, a magic teen genie? Duh, yes. Ugh, fine. T-G-I-F, gonna L-O-L, -L, with my B-F-F-A-S-A-P. Hey, that's us! Oh, I love this 
song. Catchiest song on the charts. T G I F gonna L O L with my B F F A S A P. Ugh, my ears want out. This song is dangerously close to burning itself into my hippocampus. We can't risk that. We need to get away from that sound. G-I-F, gonna L-O-L with my B-F-F's A-S-A-P. This way, we'll be safe in here. Oh no, an elevator. That means... Elevator music! Yes, it's Friday, gonna laugh out loud with my best friends forever. Proof. <sighs> T G I F gonna L O L. I can't help it. It's catchy. <sighs> okay, point taken about the wishes backfiring. But at least we got a smash hit that people love, right? No! Actually. Appears to be growing evidence that they might be turning on it right. Because the wish never guaranteed that people would actually like the song. Or us! Of course, that was my mistake. We don't need catchy songs, we need a whole bunch of major fans! Angel, are you familiar with the expression, be careful what you wish for? Fans that will love us so much, they'll do anything! Angel, listen to love! Fans that will follow us anywhere! Teen Genie, I hereby wish it, so make it so! Okay, don't say I didn't warn you. Wait, you didn't warn me? She didn't warn me! No, but we did! HJ5! HJ5! Maximum creepy overload! Team, retreat! Back in the dumpster! HJ5! Awards, where stars are rolling down the red carpet in style. We're rolling up in a dumpster. Goodbye, award. Maybe no one will see us. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> At least we're dressed like fruit. HJ5? Hey, girls, what's the haps? Uh, we're just prepping your new song. You heard it here first, peeps. HJ5's working on a song dressed as rotten fruit in a dumpster. See, Angel, we don't need a genie. We've got all the magic we need right here. But I haven't wished for world peace yet. Or a three-level closet with an accessory conveyor belt. Oh, tough tiramisu. You ladies have used up your three wishes. We only get three? Really? You didn't know that? You're right, G. Magic schmagic. <laughs> Not on my watch. What, dude? You interrupted my obviously unnecessary beauty sleep. Teen Genie, I want my clients Morgan and Macy to be the biggest things in Harajuku. No, no, no. The biggest things on the planet. Ugh. I get it, I get it. Your wish, my command, and so on and so forth and whatever. <laughs> no, wait, not that kind of big. <laughs> Mega celebs Morgan and Macy just became significantly more mega. Hey, whoa, Morgan, watch out. It's Sammy, your main manager down here. I promised to make you a big star, didn't I? Well, then I... Ah! I knew him when he was just small time. <laughs> Girls, we've got to stop those twins before someone gets stumped. Mmm, fruit salad. Oh, no! Nobody eats my clients without my okay! Hang on, girls, the Rootmeister is on his way! Swallowed alive by giant twins! Does it get any weirder? Hey, Mega Twins, down here! Smile for the camera and say big cheese! 
giving all your good side. Wisties only got good sides. Oh, I'm gonna need a bigger lens. Gotcha! Team Genie, magic the twins back to normal. Now! You got it, Mr. Rhodes. Rudy, you're the best manager ever. And how'd you possibly get Team Genie to behave? Oh, just wheeled and dealed like I do. I told her I'd get her a five-album deal. T-G-I-F! Mm, make that four albums. Maybe two. You got a flying carpet and a pair of downsized twins. Well, what did you ask for with your last wish, Rudy? An award? I don't need an award to make me proud. You girls make me proud. This is the proudest moment of my life. And the winner of Best Rescue of a City from Giant Rampaging Twins goes to... Rudy Rose! Okay, correction. This is officially the new proudest moment of my life. Yeah! Rain check on the hugathon. Let's do brunch. Air kiss. Ciao, ciao! I'd just like to say a few words. <clears throat> I, Rudolph Rhodes, was born to humble beginnings. Get comfortable. We're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta hide these. Got her laptop and tablet. Got her phone. Great. Remember, we have to keep Angel offline today at all costs. Hey, guys, have any of you seen my phone or computer? Phone? Computer? Aw, oh, who needs that stuff? Probably better off without it. Absolutely! Well, you know me. Can't start my day without checking my favorite fashion blogs. Oh, Angel! Angel! What is wrong with you guys? What are you talking about? Probably the same thing everyone is talking about. You are an internet sensation. Haven't you seen RunwayRag.com yet? No, no Rudy! No, this can't be happening. I'm the oh no you didn't pick. I finally made it onto Runway Rag and it's as a fashion criminal. Sorry, Angel. We were just trying to protect you. But that was the night Chewie got out and we had to go all over town looking for him. It was an emergency. It shouldn't count. Forget it, Angel. I'll bet no one reads that stupid fashion blog anyway. Are you kidding? Runway Rag is the single hottest fashion site on the planet right now. <coughs> Why, this page alone already has well over a million views. And that one photo has been shared all over the world. <laughs> Enough! Thanks for the pep talk, Rudy. I think she gets the picture. My life is over. I'm a fashion disgrace. I'll never be able to show my face in public again. Oh, yes, you will. That's what I've been trying to tell you. I've parlayed the massive publicity from your little fashion faux pas into a gig at the hottest party in town. Really? Every fashion reporter in Harajuku will be there to cover it. Every fashion reporter in Harajuku? The probability of that is less than 3.56%. Max. No, there's one celebrity fashion icon that they never miss. Twisty T. Twisty T? Twisty T? I'm not dreaming, right? You said Twisty T is coming to the party? Oh, no. He's not coming to the party. He's throwing the party. Yay! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Rudy, this is the hottest party in town? Well, maybe not yet, but give it a chance. The night is young. But where's the red carpet? Where's the exclusive celebrity guest list? Where's the paparazzi? Rudy, you said Twisty T was throwing this party. And he is. It's a birthday party for his six-year-old nieces and nephew. That's Plum, Rainbow, and Fig. <laughs> They're triplets. Kids. That's the spirit. You play a few games, sing a few songs. Rudy. Do these heels look like they belong in a game of tag or a three-legged race? I coordinated my best outfit for this gig because you promised me that every fashion reporter in Harajuku would be here. Oh, they will be. But I gotta bounce back to the studio for a couple hours. So I told the media not to come until I get back here to cut the cake. See, that's the big photo op. <gasps> photo op! <laughs> 
In the meantime, do you think you guys can handle entertaining my special birthday guests? You can count on us, Mr. Twisty T. Cool. See you back here for the cake cutting festivities. And good luck. Did you see that? He practically smiled at me. <laughs> <laughs> They're adorable. Too adorable. I don't trust it. <sighs> Well, it looks like we're babysitting, guys. No problem. All I need to do is hold it together and be fashion fab when the media arrives. Piece of cake. <gasps> oh. Yikes! Wasn't expecting that. Of course not. It's supposed to be a surprise. <laughs> but listen, I really need to take a bathroom break. Could you just keep an eye on the cake while I'm gone? Sure, I can laugh, Creepy. I wonder if this is hollow all the way through. No! <laughs> the things I do for fashion. Huh? <gasps> oh. Oopsie. Surprise! <laughs> Had to try it once, I suppose. You know, I... Ah! Oh! Is that Rudy? <laughs> Yay! It's Angel's turn to be it! Rudy! Cake! Is that like patty cake? No! An actual cake! And the actual Rudy! Rudy's in the cake! <gasps> we have to do something! I'll go with Angel. You girls stay with the monsters. Did I say monsters? I meant monsters. Wait, I said monsters again! You know what I mean. Monsters. Ah! I hope this cake is insured. <sighs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Ready or not, here we come. <laughs> hey, that's not hiding or seeking. <laughs> How come nobody listens? As if I needed another reason to be suspicious of clowns. No worries, Rudy. I've got you. Oh. I couldn't decide between you and the jelly jamboree drops. Tough choice. Thank you. No problem. There's a few stuck in your hair anyway. I... Uh-oh. How many years bad luck for a broken mirror again? <gasps> Rudy! Hey, this frosting totally clashes with my tie. <gasps> <sighs> hey, Angel. You in the mood for a little shopping? Always and any time. Mmm. While we're at the mall, maybe I can pick up a new tie. Just another few inches? <sighs> Our best defense is to divide and conquer. Baby, you play pin the tail on the donkey with rainbow. Got it. I'll do a potato sack race with Plum. And love, you can... I'm confident I can handle entertaining a single child. Well, it can't go far in here. <gasps> That really takes the cake. What? One of us had to say it. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Please keep arms, legs, and icing inside the car at all times. Hang on. <laughs> they say fashionable clothes can't be practical. Rudy, don't move a crumb. <laughs> they don't stop. Ever. They just keep going and going and going. <laughs> Guys, FYI, when a child says, can you teach me how to tie a double helix slipknot, the answer should be an automatic no. <gasps> there. We 
We've got to act fast. Seriously? Okay, but you can kiss what's left of your outfit goodbye. I know, but it's for the greater good. Good, right? Or the greater good. Do you think someone ate him? I'm not sure now is the right time for a wardrobe change, Angel. No, but it's time for this. Attention shoppers, two high heel boomerangs coming your way! <sighs> Good job, Angel. If what we did today is out of fashion, I don't ever want to be in. Just hang on, guys. This'll be over. Eventually. Hey! 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 <laughs> Where's a good place to wait for the world to stop moving? Ah! Gee, perfect timing. We have Rudy. Tell me you have the cake. Right here, safe and sound. Ah! Gotta go, bye. 10 minutes before we meet Twisty T and every fashion reporter in Harajuku. That's not enough time to fix the cake and my outfit. Come on, give me a hand. Can we come out now? We need to do a risk assessment. Does it look safe? It must be. Look, there's the cake. Hi, Angel. Tell me, what is it that you're wearing here today? Buttercream, mostly. Ha <laughs> ha buttercream. That's good. Yeah, you know what? I like your style. Yeah, so do I. Surprise! Hey, that was my line. Happy birthday! <laughs> Come on, ladies. Our blog needs an end credit ussy. Hashtag freeze! Freeze frame! Is it too much to ask?